I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about P. Diddy and Aaron Hall's new lawsuit. This is truly sick. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. Many of you, once you heard about the Cassie lawsuit, you pretty much knew that there would be an avalanche of lawsuits against P. Diddy. We don't know how many behind the scenes he has settled, but we know two more have come afloat on this river of sickness. P. Diddy and Aaron Hall took advantage of a woman, and it was very disgusting. I don't want to talk about what they did, but these two individuals should be in jail. And my problem with this is, is that this man has been doing this for 30 years. Not only essaying women, but physically beating them. And not only that, iron these women. This is truly a man who hates women. And I don't care what anybody says. Gene Deal said he cursed his mother. That tells you the deep hatred, something he saw when he was growing up that he didn't like in women, that he has been doing this probably ever since he was a teenager. And he gets some kind of feel of power like he's a, um, like he's a pimp or something. And he does this with Aaron Hall back in the early 90s. So if he ever dealt with any women that you may know in the industry, they probably went through hell with P. Diddy, but didn't say anything because he controlled their career. As you saw what he did to Wendy Williams when he got her out of New York and she had to move to Philadelphia. There are women scattered across this country who has dealt with this monster and that's what he is he's a monster someone who has been on a prowl for 30 years and no one other than Cassie has really stood up and said something now his other girl in 2019 when she did the in I think it was 20 when she did the interview with Tasha Gay she stood up but nobody really paid attention to her but now she backs up what Cassie was actually saying. Now you hear Kamora Lee stepping out. You see other people saying, this is who he is. You see 50 Cent say, I saw the pictures that he smutted out of Cassie. And now with this girl, they videotaped it and said they sent it to Devontae. And not only that, this girl says she's been in therapy for the last 30 years because of what he did. And we don't know the stuff he has done. Because men like this, who have this ego, this narcissism, we don't know how far they'll go. And let me tell you something. For a man of his stature to be doing these things, and nobody come out into 2023. And let me tell you something. The mistake he made is when he got into it with those billionaires over C-Rock, the guys who actually own it. I'm talking about these guys who actually have power in this world. After he got into it with them, all of a sudden, his issues start really coming up. I'm telling you that P. Diddy, has to be involved with the feds because there is no way for 30 years this man all the issues he's had from 91 to where he was throwing a party and the gym burned down to the shine incident to all these incidents he has had and he hasn't been touched sounds a little bit like whitey bolger in Boston, who was the gangster, and for 30 years he was killing people, come to find out he was working for the feds. This is absolutely disgusting, and I'm going to tell you this. The only person who stood up and said something was Jaguar Wright. As a woman, you had Gene Deal out here. 
You didn't have many people out here saying nothing about what this man, this man was a terror in the music industry and on the streets of America with women. And nobody did nothing about it. Everybody knows. If you go over there to Rockefeller, Rockaware, whatever the fuck that place is that Jay-Z on, he knows about P. Diddy. The women in the industry know about P. Diddy. Mary J. Blige know about P. Diddy. But they didn't do a damn thing because they know what? He would put their career in jeopardy. This is what's going on. So we got a predator who's sitting at the highest level of entertainment doing whatever he wants to do. And now he has probably brought problems upon people who didn't do anything. You got Jamie Foxx, you got Bill Cosby for the 1500th time, Cuba Gooding Jr. All these people are catching hell. If they did it, hell, they deserve it. If they didn't, hey. But P. Diddy, this man, is truly wicked. And we have to understand, we have to understand that you cannot, I repeat, you cannot cover a man because he's a billionaire and he can affect how much money you make. You remember evil is can roam the earth if good people don't stand up against it. And this is what P. Diddy has been doing. This goes back to 1990-91 that he was doing this as a young man. So he has been terrorizing women for over 30 years. Then come out with this face. We go back to hit Biggie. Tupac, all these incidents that this man has been involved in, and he's never been touched. Sounds like the feds to me. But I'm going to tell you this. Scarface said it. Al Pacino said it. Every dog has his day. And he's having his day right now. Just because of the filth that he has perpetrated on women this is sad this is a sad incident and it goes on and on and no one should be associated with p diddy puff daddy brother love brother i don't give a damn because this is not a good man i want to thank you for listening to black psych hope you subscribe to this channel <clears throat> Share this video. <clears throat> Excuse me, my cold. Thank you.